welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He is the Most High God. El El Yon El Che. He is the Living God. He loves us with a true agape love and wants to pour it in our heart, write it on our mind, and keep our hearts and minds in perfect peace. <laughs> He's our resting place. He's that one place where we can come to and find life and peace. I mean, real rest. If we abide in, in Him, in Christ, and abide in the Word of God, if we continue in Him and continue in the knowledge of Him, and, and we keep speaking who He is and who we are in Him, the confessions of grace will so come out of your mouth. The mercy of the everlasting Father, the, the loving, forgiving, all-knowing Father of heaven and earth. He'll grant you all of that. Because he, he, you know, he stored everything for us in the heavenly places. Healing, health, wealth, soul, prosperity. It's all in him. The help that someone else needs is all in Him. And if we come boldly before His throne, if we take time to sit with Him, if we take time to acknowledge Him in all of our ways, I'm telling you, He will help us. He will help us. He will supply the need that's needed in, with, for somebody else or for you. This is the one who loves the world and everyone in it. God so loved this world that he sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ the Lord, that whosoever would believe on him would not perish, but have everlasting life. I keep on saying that because we look at the condition that the world is in, and we want to say, Raka, you stupid fools. When Jesus said to, to, to say such a thing as putting yourself in danger of hell fire, see, God has given us forgiveness of sins. He's delivered us from, from judgment. And everything that we're walking through in this life, every situation and every circumstance, if we learn how to walk through it with him, and I've got some stuff bothering me today, but you know, you got to cast that before God and, and let the wisdom of the Lord come up. Learn how to say, learn how to apologize and learn how, just learn how to forgive everyone. But to look at the world which we came out of and to call them stupid, stupid fools and just be so irritated with everybody that we would not even pray for them, this is crazy. We pray for everyone because, see, we want them to come out. We want them to come out of this, out of sin, out of a life of the devil being their father. They think they got it good and they don't. And yet, my practice right now, right here, is to help us to shine as lights in this world right now so that we look like Jesus, so that we are the evidence of Christ, <laughs> so that we are the evidence of Christ. Let Christ be found in you today. Let him help you with your soul. So many of us say that we love God and we go to church, and some of us don't, but some of us go to church. And we read our Bible and we still live a life of sin. We put our face into YouTube and Facebook and Snapchat and what's the other, Instagram, what's the what's on Twitter. And we're all in the, the news and we're all watching everything that goes on in the world. We're, our eyes are full of it. Any movie that comes out, we're all full of it. I knew, I knew Christians that would, I'm going to say followers of Christ who would actually sit down and watch, I remember the movie came out, The Exorcist of Emily Rose, and they watched it. Everybody was like crazy about going out and seeing this movie. Their lives were disasters. Huh? We're supposed to pick up our cross and follow Christ, deny ourselves, pick up our cross and be followers of Christ. We're supposed to be renewed in the knowledge of our mind. We're supposed to be in love with the Father, in love with each other. Huh? That would make us shine as lights. You know, it's written in the book that there's somebody that said it. 
I, well, I heard it anyway. That one of the exclamations of the Roman soldiers was, see how these Christians love one another. I mean, they were dying. They were being fed to lions. They were being burned and tortured in all kinds of ways. But they didn't, and they saw each other being, you know, killed. And they still went one after the other. Why? Because they knew the Father. They knew the Son. They really believed. They really believed that Jesus is the Son of God. And that's how we ought to be as people who follow Christ. We really believe that Jesus is the Son of God who died and rose again. Though There's a whole... This, I mean, we live, in, we live in... We've come out of the kingdom of darkness and we're supposed to be living in the kingdom of light. And this kingdom is within us and yet... If we don't have this relationship with the Father, with the Son, with the Holy Spirit, we don't have anything at all. You know, there's patience in love. There's patience in love. The Lord wants to so fill us with the knowledge of His will in everything that we're walking through. It is not just Bible, uh, the, the, it's not just, how do I say it, Bible literature. <laughs> It's not just a word. It's, it sits here. This word comes into our lives and transforms our heart and mind that we become like our Father. We become like Christ. We are being made into the image of Christ, which means we have to submit this heart. We have to submit this mind. We have to submit this body. And it learns how to love the Lord, our Father, with all of our heart, with all of our soul, and with all of our strength. And then as, as we're in him and we're abiding in him like this, we, we, the love of God comes out of us for each other and everyone else around us. We don't want anyone in this world to perish. That's why we have to get ourselves straight. You know, judgment begins in the household of God. We come to him and we sit in him and we learn how to be clean. He cleans us. He washes us. And I'm not saying that we'll be sinless and we'll never sin again in this life. But what I'm saying is, another sip of coffee. What I'm, what I'm saying is that as we boldly come to him in everything and acknowledge him in all of our ways, we're going to sin less and less yet. But when we come and we've messed up either in, in, in our mind or in our actions, with our words we come boldly before him and say father I, I, I messed up again and your heart is broken because you don't want to be like this father please wash me and cleanse me from all of my unrighteousness it's it see this is the word being applied I love how the Holy Spirit will remind us of the word of God the the truth in our lives <laughs> Let the Lord sanctify you today. Sanctify your heart and mind by you coming to Him and, and talking to Him. Lay out your heart and your mind in the Word of God. He will fill you with the knowledge of His will and keep you in perfect peace today. I gotta go. My time is up. I love you all. Jesus has given us everything we need. Just abide in Him. Talk to Him today. Cast your care before Him and let Him keep you in perfect peace.